What's up guys? Welcome back to another, another, another. I'm tired of saying that. What's up? How y'all doing? Anyways, we are getting ready for LZ World Tour, which is in like a week and a half, two weeks. I don't know. It's 23rd. Today is 15th. Is it 15th? Mm -hmm. Today is 12th. What day is it? 12th or the 15th? It don't matter. The date's going to be wrong whenever y'all see this anyways. So we're going to start getting ready. I got to get the red car ready. Sean Boofy Uglass is over here trying to get his car ready because, you know, he just likes me so much. He want to hang out all the time. So I don't know what they got going on over there. You got to check them out. But I got to work a little bit. Then I get on my car. What you doing, Boothy? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a race. This is a famous Sean Booth S15 that go bow, 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 bow all the time. Gotta do um, timing belt, still the old one from the last motor. It's kind of worn out, but we was on a crunch time, so I didn't change it. So we're gonna change that. And the exhaust manifold gasket, since we went to a 26 head, I didn't have a like a multi layer metal one in stock either, so I want to change that before it bites me in the butt. So that's what we're gonna focus on getting done tonight. And I think I need to change the rack, it's leaking. I'll figure out how to fix the leak or something. That's about it, and then we should be ready. Get alignment. Car should be good. Oh yeah, fix this properly. You know, somebody didn't do me right last time. Wasn't me. Your looks up, and I'm pretty sure with you. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a lip back on too. I gotta look for this too. Flex. Look better than Sean. That's all that matters. Where you have one grill. That's not a flex. I'm gonna put another one back in. Inside that hood. No, bro. I'm try.
in the back. You know what I'm saying? This bit crusty, man. Oh my god. That shit fuck. You said it looked like an R8. Oh my god. Oh shit. With it. Got a little bent in, you know what I mean? Yeah, that boy, wild body. Yeah. Oh. I got a flare for the hose, you know what I'm saying? No, we gotta put our pipe expander in there. That's a wall tap. That's a flex. Come on, that ball ping. What about off. the rest of the car? That's also a wall tap. Hey, can you put a <laughs> can you put a fender expander in that thing? Cause that fender don't touch. Hey, that bumper look good though. That may look good. That's as good. As Back like she never. Hey, wide band's not even plugged in. It's not. What's ah! that tapping sound? You hear that? That's too Nah, don't listen to that. Sounds good. No leaks. Sounds, sounds leaks. good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds like boost cars always sound. <laughs> All right, Sean got finished up with his exhaust. He go. Please, he go move. Please, love God. Hey, hey, we'll try. Hey, hey, we'll try. This. Such a liar, bro. Oh, I, I can show hey, you right hey, now. He'll switch. He'd be like, off, oh, off. Oh. He did the off button in the car. Yeah. Don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just how I used to do the don't same believe shit. him, bro. Listen. So, anyways, <laughs> now that he starts selling out, I was gonna say some nice words, but I have nothing nice to say. He gonna take that raggedy, <laughs> banged up, oh, garbage S15, oh. park it in the back until he can come back tomorrow and work on it. I'm done over here. Got the got the seal and new timing belt changed, but we tired. It's like I'm it's tired. late. It's late. We'll continue this tomorrow. Let's so just cut it and pull up tomorrow. And I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back. Uh, got the front end finished up and I actually made a little fancy cover to put on there. Look at that, we got a 30. I don't like that, but we're gonna rock it out. I also extended it so we can cover the timing belt, keep it safe from that California dust. So today, uh, tonight, what we gotta do is I gotta change these gaskets. Well, I got them somewhere here. I'll throw them up here. All right, so we put the car together. We was on crunch time to make it to Atlanta. So I only had stock 26 gaskets. Now we got some nice multi-layer ones I can put on there so it don't leak because definitely heard it leaking a little bit. We had tightened on the boat. So I'm gonna swap those out, get these on there tonight. Then we can put the front back of the car together. And then I think we gonna crank the power up soon. No cold sack party. No party. Nick's back if y'all don't know. Tech make it, you know, a lot of space that you can get to the boats. I like that. Um, even though I don't like having to take it back off, but you know, things happen. Yeah. Now, the culprit, the real culprit is this stucco gasket that Nico put on there. <laughs> Y'all thought I was gonna blame myself. Oh. Actually, it's sealed up at the track after we tighten it up, so. But if I can get it off, I can show y'all. There we go. There we go. Boom. So. All right, so. It started, but we caught it. it started breaking apart right there. Hold on, hold this still, where it breaks apart. Right here. Okay. But we caught it really fast, so, so um, it didn't do too much uh, burning. So now we're gonna put on multi layer. Alright, so the reason I'm grinding it down is because uh, with the 30 and the 26 blocks, it's at a single cam head. The dual cam head actually overlaps and the gasket touches and if it touches 
on the block it doesn't seal properly so we gotta get rid of those and as we did in the hot boy car we're gonna get rid of these little gold thingies here because they push on the manifold and it tends to leak so um we're catching them before we have to do it again easiest way for me is you can drill it out but i use this and you just hit it real quick then it just pops out the back so makes it easy it does suck because then the gasket could come apart but you don't need that anyways you know you know you don't need to hold it on there just sucks putting it on that's about it and grab it pop out the gold piece done um fell right out This doesn't really affect the gasket seal nibbles. It's just all that is is to hold it together, so it doesn't fall apart. So, bomb, yeah, multi-layer. Back on we go. Whoa, bro! Whoa! Watch your language, man. We got kids. So end up doing a little bit more than I wanted to, but it needed it. Uh, as you guys see, the, the oil cooler is no longer in the front. It's actually behind the oil cooler, behind the inner cooler, and we got rid of one fan. Um, is that gonna bite me in the butt? I don't really think so. But it's gonna save us for when, uh, if we hit somebody or something comes off, because at, in Atlanta, we had a cone, bumper broke, hit the oil, brand new oil cooler, and damaged it a little bit. That was a wake up call. So end up doing that, we're done for now. Once again, it's late, so we'll end it here, and we'll dine with this thing tomorrow. Um, also, also, look, 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 come here, come here, man. Come here. Fancy cover, man. I think I did a good job. Look at this cover, man. Tell me, tell me if I did a good job in the comments, man. I think that looked real good, even though it needs to be a 3.2. But hey, whatever. I'll take that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, good morning, guys. We're back. Um, already moved the car over to the dyno. Uh, started up. I had to change the timing because I made a few changes. Got it all synced. And ready um now it's time to turn the power up uh we're gonna try to get ready early y'all know how that goes um so we'll dine it today and that should be it uh we got some new things in the mix that we might change before we go but as far as uh everything else we should be ready um come on you got change your lighting you good I'm good all right so uh last time our highest horsepower was 625 five or three foot pounds of torque, which was like a break in tune. I think that was like 17, 18 pounds or something like that. So today, um, I'm gonna turn it up more, obviously. Uh, we'll get closer to like one of the settings for FD. Uh, so we can test this out when we go to California. Um, and we're also just gonna be using the rotary trim switch um, from Haltech. All right, cool. So I'll, I'm gonna put it on this rotary trim switch here so we can have one, two, three, four, a million settings if we need to. Um, so I'll probably do like, First set in 500, second one six, four one. What's that? I'm at three. Wait a minute. Seven, and then 800,000, right? I'm not gonna get a thousand, but yeah. Anyways, we'll get this thing dynoed up and hopefully we can make a power goal today and be ready early. Uh, always something. Before I start, I was like, oh, let me test the pumps, make sure all the pumps working, because the car does have like four pumps in it. Um, but on one pump, the car's been fine. So I finally go to turn another pump and it seems like either it's locked up or wire broke inside or something. So now we gotta disassemble the fuel cell. Sucks, but it's part of it, better now than later. So I guess I'm taking the surge tank out. All right, so change of plans. Um, I don't have a pump, so we gotta wait. So we'll probably just end the video here. Um, 
Sorry you guys didn't get to see a dino, but I promise we'll open the next video with us making noise. Um, I'll probably have to wait till later until pumps come in, and then we'll get it done. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, tell me what you think. I know you guys don't like that 30, right? Tell me what to do. Put a sticker. Later.